Now I have six tools listed below. I'm going to introduce you to all six tools and just help you get a feel of what they are. So let's start with the first one, Google Docs. And let's go check one out. Okay, if you notice right now I'm in Google Drive. And it's important to know that Google Docs Suite is run through Google Drive. So I'm able to access all these applications and tools of Google Docs Suite through Google Drive. So let's take a look at the first one, which is a Google document. So I'll open up a Google document. And a Google document is basically a word processor. It's connected to Microsoft Word, meaning that you can convert back and forth between Google Docs and Microsoft Word. So here's an example. It's an FBA that I once wrote for a special ed course that I took. I'll scroll down. And if you see above, it has a lot of the features that a Microsoft Word would have. Very similar editing features. Next up, number two, Google Slides. Google Slides is connected with Microsoft PowerPoint, so you can convert and download back and forth between the two. Now let's take a look at a Google Slide. And here's the icon. Looks like that. So I'm back to Google Drive, and I'll access a Google Slides. It's a slides document on assistive technology. I created it over two years ago. So let's just take a quick look. You can take a look up top. It has very similar editing features. You can duplicate slides. You can insert images, text box, videos. Copy, paste. You can present it. Third up is Google Sheets. Google Sheets are connected with Microsoft Excel, so it has very similar features. And I'll show you an example of a file that I wrote in Microsoft Excel and that I converted to Google Sheets. And I'll always have that option to convert it directly back to Microsoft Excel. So let's take a look at one of those. I'll head to Google Drive. This icon means Google Sheets. This icon, icon means slides, documents, forms, and drawings and here we are and you take a look it's very similar to Microsoft Excel you have functions filters you can insert comments create charts it also uses the cells and this is something that I created in Microsoft Excel and I converted this to Google Sheets it's just a basic curriculum map Next up is Google Forms with this icon. Google Forms are great for assessments and taking surveys. I now use it to deliver instruction through video sometimes, sort of like a flipped classroom. I'll show you an example. Back to Google Drive, here's an example of a Google Form. There's the icon, open it up. We can take a look at this form. It's got all different questions here. I can also insert videos. These forms are sent out and students can fill them out. You can use it to take surveys. You can use it to, to uh, create formative assessment. You can use it to flip a classroom. I really love Google Forms and um, I'm going to do a whole unit on this. Actually, I'll do a unit on all six of these applications as we move forward. Next up, number five, sites. Google allows you to create free websites. And one of the best things you can do with creating a free website is create a website for your classroom because you're able to show student work. You're able to post any type of assignments. You're able to, to, to keep uh, PowerPoints on there, make announcements, students of the month. There's so many things you can do with Google Sites. 
I'll take you to one that I created about about a couple couple months ago just as a sample here we are this is just a sample Google site it's called Heights Environmental Science Heights is uh, that's for Hasbro Heights the district that I work in and here you'll see you have a word of the week recent announcements homework assignments I'm able to go into different pages Here's a homework assignment, extra credit. Students are encouraged to seek extra credit. Let's go back to home. And lastly, number six, uh, drawings. Uh, drawings are good if you want to create, um, I don't know, maybe you want to create a flow chart, um, concept maps. You can create diagrams use to compare and contrast different things um, you know you could also use it just for you know any type of artwork or something like that so let me show you an example again we're running through our my Google Drive everything runs through Google Drive and this is something that I created with Google uh, drawings it's just a little symbol I use at the top of this uh, channel teachings and education it was real easy one two three so right now I would just like to say uh, thank you for your time also I'll be doing a full unit on each of these applications and tools and please watch the next video in the series how to create a Google Doc form slide etc and so forth